Hi ladies, so welcome back to my makeup tutorials. And this makeup tutorial for today is pretty much going to be all about a really nice interview look because uh, today I have a meeting out east, you know, and I'm hoping to get the job. <coughs> it's actually a promotion at my job I'm at right now. It's I'm at Starbucks and I'm trying to promote to the higher level above a barista. And so I want this look to be, you know, professional and I want it to look really pretty and and nice but still on a mature and professional side. So this is the look that I went for right here, okay? It focuses on a little bit of browns and greens, works with the nice brown eye color that I have. And so let's get going. Let's get started. Okay, so what I started out with um, was the basic, you know, for the base of my lid was <clears throat> my matte color, which was the Painterly Pot. Right now is playing Carrie Underwood in the background. Okay, I remember using my MAC flat brush that I've described in a few of my makeup tutorials right here. Perfect for, f uh, what was it? Just eyelid matte, basic matte color. So you're going to add this all over the lid, just pat it on there, but then as you pat, go all the way up under the brown line until you fully cover the entire eye. This brush is amazing, really helps blend that basic painterly pot all over with a smooth finish. I also like to get right under my eye. Alright, so that's good. Now it's applied. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and work on my crease first. And I've been starting my crease colors before any other, you know, for the highlight or for the for the lid. I've pretty much focused on crease color first because it once you put the other colors in, you can really blend into that crease and it looks really smooth for the finish. So using my crease brush from MAC, the brand new 286 with the white tip, okay, I'm going to go ahead and using my Urban Decay. This is the Urban Decay Twice Baked. It's a really, really pretty brown with somewhat of a glisten to it. Okay. I'm going to apply that right into my crease using that kind of V shape and windshield wiper motion. I'm going to apply this color for the crease. So find your crease. Find the line at the end of your brow. Start of your crease. This is where the V shape happens. windshield wiper motions with a very light touch to supply. Go back. This allows you to really add a pretty crease with a perfect shape. I like to keep my eye open because if you close it, it's a little bit harder to get that shape. When you have your eye completely open, you can get that nice blend of the color into your crease. Okay, so just like that, I'm going to add a little bit more in the end, but we're going to go ahead and add the green. Okay, this green is absolutely gorgeous, and using my two, what is this one? Oh, my, my 239 from MAC, you know, you can tell I'm a MAC fan, and that's all I use, but using my 239 brush, it's perfect for a lid for the color on my lid. I'm going to go ahead and use Max. It's a really pretty kind of green that I got a while ago and you know it's I'm trying to take it out. Here we go. Okay, it's the green sumptuous olive and it's beautiful. It has kind of a glisten to it. It's this one right here. We're going to add that, you know, kind of in the middle of the eye and blend it into the crease. Okay. Start in the middle and go out into the crease and you can see that beautiful olive green blend beautifully in with that baked brown from Urban Decay. Okay, this kind of gives kind of like a kick of the green. Okay. 
And I'm not going to go all the way into the end of my eye because that's where the highlight's going to happen. Okay, that's all I need. All right, now if I get too far, I'm going to hit that green into my crease. Now, this is where I go back and add that brown baked color to my crease to add kind of a kick of darkness. All right. Using that same 286 brush from MAC, I'm going to go back and add a little bit more crease color. Sometimes the green, if you add it too far into the crease, it'll add green into the crease when I really just want brown. Okay, just like that. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and add some highlight color. And I'm going to use the same 286 in my brand new Summer Haze from MAC. It's beautiful. Okay, it has uh, different colors <clears throat> for the highlight mixed in. It's a brand new product for MAC. And it's my all-time favorite. It's beautiful. And we're going to just kind of pat that on at the end of the eye and kind of blend in with that green. And you'll see it. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, that's all I want. Just to blend that nice highlight color into that green. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my rice paper from MAC. I've used it so much, it's almost gone. Okay, right here. And using my pencil brush, I'm going to go ahead and add some highlight under my brow. Very, very, very subtle with this rice paper because it comes out pretty strong if you use too much of it. That's all I'm going to do. And then going back to that summer haze, I'm going to add a little bit of kick of shimmer under my brow. Using my 286 once again. You can tell I love this brush. And it's used for many purposes, it really is. And this is also a good blending brush, so once you're done adding that little bit of shimmer, take off the excess amount of eyeshadow and just start blending that crease in, up into the brow. Just like that, okay? So it's really smooth and defined. To define brings that kind of that sharp look to the crease, more um, subtle in terms of smoothness, that's where the blending comes in, if that makes sense at all. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and add some darkness. This is where the eyeliner comes in with the black track and the eyeliner on, on the waterline under the lashes. And I'm going to give kind of a cat eye look today, but I will show you how I do that. Okay, using my eyeliner, the brand new one that I got, it's amazing. It's the Graph Black. It's the Technical Liner. Twist up from MAC. Very, very, very nice twist. Doesn't get caught like CoverGirls does. All right, I stopped using CoverGirl because the eyeliner has so much oil in it, it's just not good for my eye. So I went to MAC because their eyeliner is really nice. So adding this color right underneath on my waterline, underneath my eyelashes, gives that kick of darkness. I love Carrie Underwood. She is such an amazing artist. And she won American Idol. She's so amazing. She's like a prodigy of music. She is such a good country singer. And her music's just so relaxing. Okay, so I've added that graph black under my eyeline, excuse me, eyelashes on, for the waterline. I'm gonna now go to my specific eyeliner brush. It's a 263 from MAC. It's the angled, angled brush specifically for my black track that I have fallen in love with for my eyeliner. And I will show you how to do the cat eye look. Okay. Got that a little bit moist, moistened. And now, add some of that black track onto the brush. And then with very, very just <clears throat> nicely, nicely and subtle movements, I'm gonna add that to my eye. And once that brush is still wet, 
I'm going to add that cat eye, turn the brush, and add that cat eye look. Okay, you can kind of see it forming if you don't have enough on the brush because you've used it all. Go back, apply more. Okay, you see that cat eye look? And I'm going to be very honest with you guys, it takes practice. So this cat eye look works really well. Now remember, if your brush isn't wet enough, the bristles will kind of separate, causing kind of a double eye cat eye, cat eye look, which you can fix really easily. Just make sure your brush is really wet. And it's just going back and just fixing it as you go. Okay, so about that. Okay, the cat eye look is really easy to fix also with some eyeliner, but if you go too far up, it's just going to, well it's going to open your eye up. If you go farther up with the eyeliner, it's going to open your eye up. If you go further down with your eyeliner, it's kind of going to bring your eye, eye look down. So if you have eyes that are really like wide and open, and you have your eyeliner further up, like I said before with the cat eye look, it's going to open them up. Okay, so just like that, that's pretty much good for the black track, okay? Then we're going to go back with that simple eyeliner and just kind of touch up that cat eye look. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of follow the shape that I made and kind of fill in what I missed. just simply like that okay now I'm gonna go ahead and add some mascara after I curl my eyelashes just always have to check the time keep those lashes nicely curled just because it gives kind of a high-definition beautiful dark look to the lashes all right, girls, now remember, if you're kind of confused in my description or explanation of the eyeliner, it is really easy to understand. It's just remember, remember, eyeliner takes a lot of practice, and with a cat eye look, it just enables you to have kind of like a fun, dark effect in the corner of your eye, which opens your eye up, which brings out the eyeliner even more. Okay, there we go. Nice mascara. All right, so now I'm going to add some eyebrow color and I am done. All right, using my, this is the lighter brown, using my espresso from MAC and, I, and using, excuse me, my 266 angle brush, I'm going to add that eyebrow color. Makeup artist from MAC at Northgate Mall. She's a sweetheart. Taught me something very interesting about eyebrows and adding color to it. The trick is to not fill your entire eyebrow with the color. Simply just draw the line, draw the shape under your brow, okay? And then just start filling the eyebrow at the very, very, very edge with that color that you applied. Instead of going all over the eyebrow, simply just bring that color up, which is going to give that definition of darkness into your eyebrow. Okay. 
Alright ladies, so that is the look for the interview that I'm going to be going to today. And it's more of kind of like a professional dark with little darker shades of color for my look. And so you can see the finish. Okay. Now I really hope that you ladies will enjoy trying this out because it's really, really fun. It's a lot of MAC based products. So if you are not a MAC lover, maybe this is not the tutorial for you. But if you are, give it a try because it is absolutely amazing and I love this look. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye.